shifting gears a little bit, I want to get into some of the work that you've done with WEF because I know you're incredibly involved in the WEF world. Uh, one of the things that I really am so proud of of this organization and to be a part of this organization is because of their focus on diversity, inclusion, equity, things of that nature. Um, you know, they've made it a major emphasis. So can you tell us what equity and inclusion means to you and how the different organizations you're a part of are tackling this opportunity? Yeah, there's the, that's the, <laughs> it's a big question. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing a lot <laughs> on that. I can, I can tell you that right yeah. now. And it's, we have to reflect who we are, uh, who we serve, right? Mm -hmm. I just, I just literally came from a leadership uh, workshop, and uh, we had a speaker there who talked about how he was the first African American in his high school, the first African American in his co university, and it's just, it's kind of funny. He said, uh, "I was beginning to think my middle name was first, <laughs> which I thought was a great quote. He's also, yes. he's also a uh, as a master's of divinity, and, he, and he's a pastor oh, at a church, yeah. and so nice. of course it was a." It was a very inspiring, inspiring talk, but we have to get, we have to get more like the customers we serve. We will be so much the better for it. Mm -hmm. We have to look at what our blind spots are, yes. what are our unconscious bias, yes. things that we don't even know that we're doing. And the board has spent a fair, the WEF board has spent a fair amount of time looking at that this year. And we've been doing exercises to try to get to some of those biases. We've been taking these surveys to see where we land on these things, to see where those biases are. We've been challenging staff. We've, we've made we've got some action plans rolling into this year. We've established a, um, a diversity and in inclusion uh, task force. It's got some great people on mm, it, and yeah, it, yeah they're going to produce some wonderful stuff for us and very concrete things that we can do moving forward. I think in, as individuals, I think the probably the best thing you can do is to challenge your own self. Yes, you have to. And, and at those moments when you see yourself or or you know, there's a, a th you, you doing something and then and then reflect on it later and go, huh, was I really making that person feel welcome? Were my comments being perceived the way I wanted them to be perceived by everybody in the room? Yeah. Right. So some of those even colloquialisms, right, that we have in language. Yes. They can be well, quite offensive to some folks. Mm -hmm. So I think we just have to look at those sorts of things. Think about how we view the world, and the more we do that, I think the more we'll we'll reflect. First of all, a lot of people are, are generally just great people. Mm -hmm. It's really just getting opening eyes mm -hmm. is really what it's about. It's just getting people to see what they don't see.